Last night I had a session with my drummer Rob, still trying to make making music online something that we're able to do. I've been kind of just arranging stuff in this open source program that I use called Ardour and then been sharing it to a GitHub repository. It's a place where the software that we use is technically all controlled by a main file that's written in XML and then distributes it distributes it through the folders and basically that file goes this happened and when it comes here this is how it works with the software so that way I can upload it to github is a place where people can edit it multiple people at a time in one place and you can mark your changes and then download the new changes so everybody has them I'm a former software developer so it it makes sense to me it works kind of it's not perfect it's not a method that was meant for doing this with music so it's a kind of like an experimental method that I'm doing and so far it's working and the main reason I wanted to try it too is because none of the guys in my band use this stuff like I've had to use it over the years and none of them use it and I'm like if I can teach them how to do it then it's definitely a method to try it out plus it works with the open source tools we have we use an open source operating system called Ubuntu Studio, so all the stuff comes pre-installed. They can all install this, have exactly the same setup that I have by install installing this operating system. The thing was, is me and Rob were online last night, and the main problem is, is over a video chat, you can't necessarily, you can't work in real time. There's lag, there's, depending on the person's Wi-Fi signal, all that kind of stuff. Regardless, it's never going to sync up. So what you can do is you can take turns and listen on your end as they're writing stuff. Rob had downloaded the newest version of a song that I was working on and it needed drum parts, but I also kind of wanted some ideas on like what could happen with it. What could be done, like it, there was a guitar part that was written but it was kind of laggy. Was it the guitar that was doing it? Is it the right guitar line? Do we need new drums? Because I programmed drums and I wanted him to learn them, but the more I listened to him, it's like, I don't know if this is the right drum line. So he has his electronic drum set set up. I could hear it through the headphones. He downloaded the version of the file of the recording that I did and then played along with it, muted the track of the drums and then played his own. And we ended up writing a new drum part. So it worked out fine. That actually was like, oh. So now he's able to record his line, upload it to the GitHub repository and then I can download it and it updates my version and I have his version that's the concept. Me and Rob just worked on it. It was, it was great. We were collaborating. It was just like when me and him meet up at the studio. We just kind of listen to the song and go, okay, what can we do to make this better? And that was awesome. <laughs>